we're at the races. We placed another bet. My camera is all. Yeah, we won last time. We, we won. Bert and Lily won, so we won 23 quid. And if Red Riding Hood wins, we get 200 quid. So fingers and toes crossed, everybody. <laughs> Just got back from Ascot and now I'm off to train push. But yeah, lovely day. Went with my mum and my sister and we did lots of betting. I had a great time. I have discovered how much I love horse racing, apparently. Um, we won three out of five bets, which in my book is a massive win. And um, turns out I'm actually quite good at picking horses, so yeah don't ever listen to the people at the betting stand because whenever we picked theirs it was terrible recommendations not even close not even like you know fifth or something like they were just not even on the scoreboard but um yeah very good day morning right got back from my cardio today um so it's now saturday i don't know when i last spoke to you and I'm now meal prepping for the next two days, so for Saturday and Sunday. Today is a rest day, tomorrow is a training day. Um, so I'm prepping my potatoes. I have 300 grams on both days, love that. Sweet potato. But I thought I'd give you a little update because, um, what do you call it? It's check-in day. Um, so I check in on a Monday, Wednesday and Saturday. God, couldn't remember the days then. I only do it every week. Um, and yeah, got my check-in back. We had a new low today, um, which is always nice. It does make you feel like, I feel like when you start seeing the little changes in your body and also like the weight changes, um, like daily, like you see like new lines and stuff like that, then it kind of reinforces what you're doing um because i feel like the first um what do you call it the first like i'd say month it's going slowly so like your weight goes down but because most people have been in a bulk before that like i was like 72 kg so i just wasn't noticing very much so it is nice when um you start to actually notice everything um I'm trying to change the exposure. <laughs> there we go. Um, so, new low and changes today. Oh, it's exciting. Um, so, I don't know why I'm so excited about this. Most people probably wouldn't be excited about this, but it means things are moving up. So, we have cardio every day now. Um, so, I do 45 minutes on... <laughs> 45 minutes every day apart from leg day um and then 20 minutes on a leg day because obviously legs is working your legs so i do find even now like my legs are tired but i just you know gotta keep going um so i just get over it <laughs> um i feel like i used to like when cardio was added and stuff and I started feeling tired from it, not even that it was that much, but just because you're not used to it, I was just being a little victim and I was like, oh my God, my legs are hurting because of all the steps and the cardio. And then now I'm just like, you know what? Nobody cares. So, um, just got to keep doing it. And it will probably, it's going to go up even more. So, better get used to it. done this is what she looks like so absolutely doused i only put a few bits of crushed chilies they're really hard to get out 
um, of the actual container. But look, I've literally used this quite a few times and it's still right at the top. That's how little I use. But yeah, ready to go in the oven, shove it in there for like 40 to 45 minutes just until it looks good basically. We are off. We are off to posing now. I've prepped my meals. Um, I've got my avocado chicken broccoli and then I have sweet potato and tuna for later and then I've already got I got told off because I don't drink enough water I'm really bad for some reason I find it easier to drink water when it's cold than when it's hot when it's hot I feel like more bloated so then I don't drink more water but then I'm probably bloated because I'm not drinking enough water it's a vicious circle so I've already got through one and a half litres so I need to drink another two of these and then that leaves me another two for when I get home. So that's easy. So I'm going to drink this one on the way and then um, yeah, I've got a different bottle. It's got a straw and it makes it so much easier to drink than my other one. So yeah, I need to get through four and a half litres today. I will do it. So we're off. <laughs> Starbies. So I'm getting a Starbucks on my way back because I need one. I'm not even tired, I just crave a coffee. I think I have officially had my first prep rain moment. You will not fucking believe how embarrassing this was for me. Luckily the woman went to lunch so I didn't have to see her again. So went Starbucks, got a grande cold brew with sugar-free caramel however she put four pumps in it which is that's what sh that's what starbucks does um i think like cafe nero and costa and stuff they only do two pumps i mean it tastes great but i probably don't need that much i mean it's sugar-free so i guess it's fine absolutely bangs um ice cold brew always iced as well if you drink hot coffee like i drink hot americana at home but just if you ever go out you should always be getting iced um so it's a drive through so this is how long it's been since I've been to a drive through clearly. Like the only drive through I've ever been to is like McDonald's. Um, I've never been to a Starbucks drive through or a Costa or anything. So I go through the drive through I drive straight past the things where they ask you what you want. And then I got to the window, I wait there for 10 minutes because the person in front of me got a very big order, waited, and then I got to the window and she went, is it too, like, lattes? And then she read out all this stuff and I was like, I haven't even ordered. I was like, I haven't ordered, love. And then she was like, oh, uh, well, you better go back around there then. And I was like, oh, don't worry about it. And then I went in because I couldn't face going through the drive through again. So, um, it's friggin' hot in here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, I couldn't face seeing her in the drive through again so then I walked in and ordered and luckily she had obviously gone to lunch or something because she wasn't there anyway that is the level of stupid that I am today I'm gonna I'm gonna go home and do a hair mask because as you can see every time I wash it it's just really frizzy I'm also gonna trim it and I'm gonna dye it um tonight because it needs it as you can see my roots are like really far out it makes it look like I'm like bold along here. Um, anyway, God, I'm just talking shit. <laughs> See you when I'm home. Sorry, what is this weather? Just went out for a dog walk. Cleo was literally dying, so I had to come back. So I need to do another 2K before I go to bed. So I might walk to the shop later to kill that off. Um, Cause I need some berries. Anyway, I am literally in shorts and this vest top and like I'm literally sweating it's disgusting why is it this hot it's so muggy outside like so muggy it's hot
horrible. <laughs> I hate the heat. Like, and I'm also not even one of those people. Like, you know, you say like, oh, your moan when it's cold and your moan when it's hot. I actually don't moan when it's cold. Like, I might mention that it's chilly. I might be like, oh, it's chilly. But I'm not like, oh my God, my day's ruined because it's cold. Whereas this, that, the just the sweatiness, that is annoying me. Anyway, I really want to eat my cream of rice now, but it's a bit early. It's really early, but I really want to eat it. I might just eat it anyway. I'm not sure I can wait any longer. Right, so, sat in front of the TV, ready. Cleo's dead from our walk. And I have 50 grams of cream of rice, 100 grams of berries, and 30 grams of whey. And I'm about to sink this in about two seconds. And that is my last meal for today. I do have some berries, um, which I need to go and buy. So I'll have those later. And that's it for today. So it's a bit early, but I can't wait. Yeah, Farrell is doing its thing. Almost done. Here's some that I did already. And then these are waiting to go in. I just got back from leg, pool, and cardio. Um, I've got a sports massage as well, so that should sort out my back. But I just want to show you the air fryer because I'm very pleased with it. So it's currently doing another batch of chips. It's on. So this is the instant vortex had better reviews than the um, ninja of the same size which i thought was interesting so i thought why would i pay 150 when this bad boy was 60 and i thought if it breaks i'd buy another one so i know they don't look that appetizing but it has made crispy fries so um yeah there's more in there they're all, you know, making away. Um, so yeah, once they're done, then I'll divvy it up into two portions, 300 grams each, and then I'll have that tomorrow and Wednesday. Say so off. And I'm just making my Frosties and protein powder. Let me just pop you there. So. Um, if you don't know, get to know. I recently bought some baby spoons and they are really good for scraping the bowl. I did not anticipate how good they were and then now that I'm a bit hungrier at certain times, I, I want to make sure I get all of this protein powder out. It's very handy. So, what you do cold water unless you're a psychopath and then this isn't quite a paste because a paste doesn't go far enough so I add a little bit more water than I would for like my cream of rice because I want it to actually cover my frosties so it needs to be a little bit watery because it's all about volume these days So, I think I actually go a little bit more. There we go. So, and that is cereal milk and Frosties cereal milk protein paste. So then I have. 80 grams of frosties i did have cornflakes for a couple of days and i not kidding it was horrible because cornflakes have no sugar on whereas frosties are so much nicer and these are what's on my plan so i really need to make the most of that because the sugar makes them so much nicer this makes me so happy Oh 
come on. There we go. 80 grams. So yeah, and then what you do is you scoop from the bottom and then you get a bit of the paste and the frosties. So good. Also, Ella, if you're watching this, you'll be glad to know I'm fucking on it with my water at the moment. I got a different bottle and two of these is one and a half litres. So I need to drink six a day. But I like this size bottle because it makes me feel like I'm not drinking as much. It also has a straw so it's easier to drink. Just little things like this make it so much easier to get your water in. Like I have a bigger bottle which is two litres. But the problem is I didn't like the little nozzle on it. It was like a fruit shoot nozzle and it was really loud so I'd be really conscious of like drinking water at work and stuff. Because it was really noisy. And it would leak. And it would feel like such a big bottle of water to drink. Whereas this, I literally down half of it and I'm like gone. But yeah, this is my last one. So I'm on to my four and a half litres now. Absolutely smashing it now I've got this new bottle. But yeah, last meal is going down. And then I think my elite supplements order is meant to come maybe tomorrow. Um, so I'll show you the two flavours that I've got. Um... I'm probably gonna have a different one for each of my meals, like one for my cream of rice, one for, oh my God, I get cream of rice tomorrow. See, that comes around really quick, like my rest day cream of rice, because now I have protein paste and blueberries and dark chocolate um, without any cream of rice on training days, which I had this morning because I'm training so late. Um, so I don't really have time for another meal after this, so I have it in the morning. Um, but yeah, tomorrow I have actual cream of rice. Loving life, absolutely loving life. What can I say? Weirdly, like, I've been at this point for a little while, but I'm just really enjoying prep. Like, I dread to say it, but even like the little times where I'm hungry, or like, it's not that I'm not tired or I'm not hungry, like, I'm not starving. Like, luckily, my food is reasonably high. Um, probably because we had it quite high on the bulk, so then it's given me a bit more wiggle room. But, like, my legs are tired, the bottom of my feet are starting to hurt, that's a new thing that's come in the past few days, like, the balls of my feet hurt. Um, and I had to buy new trainers because of all the walking, um, because my cardio is treadmill, so that's, like, more walking as well as my steps. But, yeah, even though my legs are fucking aching, and I'm tired most of the time and my eyes are like stinging because I'm tired I'm still still just loving the process so I'm hoping that this just remains for as much as possible I'm in such a solid routine and I do not let anything get me out of that routine so yeah at the moment it's all smooth sailing and like when stuff changes on my check-ins and I have to add in more cardio and stuff it's just the new routine is just implemented so yeah, I would definitely say if you are prepping, like make sure you have all your ducks in a row and like have as little disruptions as possible. Um, and also like things like going out and that, it just doesn't appetise me at the moment. I feel like I'm in such tunnel vision that like when people offer me to go out to like, I don't know, events that I could go to and just like not drink or not eat. But I'm just like, I don't really want to. I just want to, you know, I'm in my groove. Anyway. That's your little bit of motivation for the day. Um, my food is ready, but my fries have 11 minutes left. However, what I love about this, because my mum even said this when I when she saw that I got this, she said that you love to put food on and then go and do something, and then I forget about it and then it burns. Whereas this, I just leave it, it's all on a timer, and it just stops when she's ready. And then my food is all done, not burnt. So yeah. I really want to try put my eggs in it. Yeah, I'm going to Google that because I've seen that people put their eggs in it. So I might try and put my egg whites in it and see what happens.